Hi everyone, uh, my name is Nicole Pompey. I am 24 and I am a bassoonist in the United States Marine Corps Band, one of the ones, um, there's 10. I'm stationed down in New Orleans, so that's where I live as of now. Um, but currently I am in sunny Pensacola, Florida on a trip for TAD, so greetings from Florida. And um, so yeah, I live a kind of unconventional life. I'm not a teacher as are most people, so my only experience is student teaching with my music education degree from the University of Massachusetts. So I'm going to be reflecting on a lot of those past experiences. Um, and my elementary placement was my favorite eight weeks of my entire education. So I'm really, really excited for this class because I'm really curious to see the types of things we learn. Um, so I just wanted to, I guess, begin by commenting on, a, I guess, my inspiration and kind of talking about the, the text and the video that we saw. Um, I think this is really awesome timing compared to my last class because the final paper that I wrote for, um, I took developmental and the development in psychology or sociology and psychology of music education, the, the past course, about a, a week ago, I wrote the paper and, uh, I talked exactly about the kind of stuff that uh, Gordon talks about right in the book in the beginning about how we need to start children at a younger age and expose them to music and expose them to different types of music and different types of activities in order for them to proceed in the future. So I wish I had this information beforehand. That would have been really great for the uh, essay. Um, there was a there was an article that I used called "A Development of Musical Abilities" by a uh, Jembris. Um, There's a whole big ten pages or so explaining things such as um, uh, oral abilities, uh, ex music, musical expression, and it was especially talking about kids from birth to ages four and five, which I may, um, I'll post it in one of the texts underneath my video if anyone wants to use it. I can see if I can still find it in the e-reserves. Uh, it's a really great article. Um, but uh, in the book, I guess the one thing I really wanted to highlight on at first was um, talking about the guidance and instruction because that was another big thing that I really focused on in the last class was talking about how home is, um, he quotes, home is the most important school system young children will ever know and children's parents are the most important teachers they will ever have. And I really, I really think that a strong base for any kind of instruction, especially musical instruction, comes straight from the home. Uh, I never went to preschool myself, so I think this is going to be really interesting comparing my experiences to the ones I'm trying to implement. But I, I believe from personal experience, I mean, my home life was surrounded by music. My parents aren't musicians, but however, I listened to music all the time and took piano lessons when I was really young. And so I believe, I believe a lot of support in the household, especially from a young age, is really going to allow children to develop and want to continue developing which um, I believe motivation should be a really important factor as, long, uh, as well as looking at development in, in the younger ages. And I believe that development um, influences motivation a lot. So uh, from the video, the thing I wanted to, to comment on was, um, I have a little notebook here, how he talks about what preschool systems need because I really found that to be very interesting and something that I guess I had always thought of but had never put down into words. Um, so he states that you know he wants certified or well supervised teachers, which I believe is a really really big issue in in today's day and age. Is that they'll just hire, oh you know preschool is more like babysitting. And um, in my student teaching experience, out of the three elementary schools that I taught in. I only saw preschoolers in one of the schools once a week for one hour, which it was like us just playing silly instruments for the kids or them just dancing to music. It wasn't anything really enhancing their musical development. Um, <laughs> tying into the next one, which he says, child development curriculum of proven effectiveness. So maybe for a lot of school systems, the, the initial issue with, with preschool is that there's no time to even create a curriculum for these types of things. Um, but I believe if there was some kind of curriculum, maybe even some kind of national standard for preschoolers that was more uh, concrete, um, 
maybe more school systems would be open to the idea of impl uh, imply or play <laughs> uh, would be more open to the idea of implementing a curriculum of that sort into their system. Um, and then the, the third thing he ties on is a systematic engagement of parents, which I described before, that home life being really, really critical, especially at a young age, to uh, their musical and just their overall academic achievement and development. And finally, uh, feedback from the assessment of programs and the children. So feedback is very important because if you're, and the way I saw that is like just continually telling a child, good job good job, you did this, good job, you did that, when in essence, you know, positive reinforcement at a young age is a very, very critical thing. However, they also need the assessment, they need to realize what they're doing wrong and realize what they're doing right in order to enhance those abilities, you know, like I said, at a younger age. So I hope this was a good first video. I can't wait to meet you all and everybody have a great evening. Bye. Also, kind of forgot to add my inspiration. So I guess my inspiration really is just watching children grow. I love watching the the light bulb click in their head when they understand something, and I love I love being able to be a part of their lives, being someone that's there from from day one. Being uh, so when these kids are 15, 16 years old and they're in high school band, and they're like, "Why did you do music?" Well, Miss Pompey was a really influential part of my life. She really introduced music to me at a young age and helped me appreciate it throughout these times in middle school and high school. Because, um, like you know, like I was saying, I believe that music really should be started at a young age, and I really believe it's critical in order to continue appreciating music in the future. So, yeah, I guess my initial inspiration is is really just helping out young children and watching them grow and the satisfaction that comes with you being a part of their development and growth. Thank you.